Today we're here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we're here at the newest eatery in Pigeon Forge, the Corner Diner. It just opened about, about a week and a half ago. We're gonna head on in and see what this is about. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready, let's do let's it. Let's do this. Good afternoon, everybody. We're back here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee today. And there's a new eatery that has opened off of Teaster Lane. Of course, it's in the same plaza as Food City, Marshall's. They got a Green Valley CBD over there. They have Scoops homemade ice cream. But on the very corner here is, is the corner diner. We're gonna head on in. We're gonna see what's about. We've heard a lot. A couple of our friends have been here already. I said, yeah, it's good. It's kind of like Mel's, you know, got the burgers, the fries. I can actually smell French fries right now. It smells good. It does smell good. So we're going to go in brand new only been open for uh, maybe about two weeks, give or take. Yeah. Let's head on in. Let's see what this diner is about. Wow, I like these tabletops. It's definitely got that Route 66 feel to it. Yeah, and the motel there. They got classic music piped in. They have that feel. Uh, they have high tables and the low tables here. Uh, no booths. They don't have any booths, just tables. Did you see that? The dork. They got Coffee the dork? Cake, sausage, cheesy, scrambled eggs, and fresh blueberries. The dork. <laughs> you wanted the dork? No, I was looking at it. <laughs> I can look at that Ordered a tall ice water. So I heard that their smash burgers is what they're known for here, or at least one of the items they're known for. I think I'm gonna get a classic smash burger and fries. And I think, Dawn, you said you were gonna get some breakfast, right? I so I think I'm gonna try the banana pudding pancakes. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna order two extra eggs, like over easy or something. Yeah. And you get hash browns and um, potatoes with it. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna have breakfast, I'll have lunch, and then we can kind of see what the whole menu looks like, right? Yeah, I love that little diner, that, that soda fountain area over there. Yeah, I got a lot of crazy art in here. Pretty cool. Bigfoot on the tube. Yeah, that chandelier is a UFO. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah. So you gotta pay. You gotta pay attention to detail here. You got a lot of cool stuff. Of course, you got Godzilla and King Kong, and <laughs> I love that Coca Cola clock in the center there. And here's all their pies. Looks like they got a rhubarb in there, uh, got a peach cobbler. Definitely some really cool, cool bakes here. Fuzzy dice. Oh, they even have a t shirt. Yeah, that UFO changes colors up there. Now it's got like you know, red and green lights. It's like a drive movie theater feeling. Like your little fuzzy dice, you got some TVs. If you got, you got a nice mural behind you, and the ladies and gentlemen's bathroom is really. You know, oh, the bath. Yeah, yeah, the bathroom's got some flair to it too. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of some of the diners on Route 66. You know, they have a, a lot of flair and. You know, and yeah, yeah, cool. Makes me want to go back out and do Route 66 again. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do it in reverse. Like, we're gonna go from like Los Angeles to uh, Chicago. That's, I think we'll do it next time. We'll go in reverse. That way we can catch everything we miss going 
<laughs> the other way, right? <laughs> Everybody here has been really friendly. They sat us down immediately. The service has been top notch. So did you see their pies over there? Yeah. Yeah, look. Good. You know, the cobbler looked really good. I, I know I'm not going to get any. Maybe next time. Our lunch and breakfast is here. Look at that. So that's the smash burger and the fries. Looks like they're seasoned, like a cottage fry. Looks really good. So Dawn's got two eggs over easy, some home fries, and look at that big stack of pancakes. So what is that? It's a banana pudding. It's got vanilla wafers, bananas, uh, custard, and three fluffy pancakes. And that's a lot of pancakes. Look yeah. at the different layers that are in there. Uh, I'll look, lift it up. Oh, wow. It looks oh, wow. really interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. It smells wonderful, absolutely yeah. wonderful. It's got custard in it. And you got quite the spread this morning. <laughs> <laughs> now they do have some syrup over here. And Dawn's going to get into them them cakes there. I took a bite of the fluffy pancakes and got some custard. Yeah, you get a little bit of everything in there, right? Mm -hmm. So you said the pancakes are very fluffy and it's very flavorful throughout. Um, definitely taste that banana pudding, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, yeah. And Chris, you got some home fries, and oh, you got those little little yeah. wafers, right? Yeah, vanilla wafers. Uh, kind of an added bonus on top. Wow, it looks amazing. Uh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Quite, quite a bit bigger. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Wow, I'm great. Glad to see that. And. I really want to get into my smash burger and fries. And you can see that the fries are seasoned. Hmm. So everything is piping hot. The, the, um, the tails are really good. Fries into, the, into yeah. your egg, right? I ordered over easy, so they're yeah. a little bit runny. Well, I know you were saying that if you knew that the pancakes were going to be that big, you probably wouldn't have ordered the egg. Yeah. But, you, but, the, but the home fries does come with it as a side. Comes with the um, banana pudding. I ordered two extra eggs for $2.99. And, and two ninety nine. So yeah, it was only two ninety nine more for the eggs. So that is the size of that smash burger. It is huge. And there's two patties. Um, so we got some um, house sauce, which is like a thousand island. And um, two patty, two slices of cheese. There's some, um, some pickles, lettuce. And then there's another layer of the house sauce. Wow, really, really good. You know what it reminds me of? Remember the old famous Big Boy? Yeah, you know I mean, because it has that Thousand Island on there. It reminds me of that, but much better. I think it's much better. Good, good. Are you guys anything else in the meantime? We're okay, thank you. And there's the side view. Of that smash burger. I like those great big old chunks of banana in there. <laughs> wow, so that was really good. Dawn got a, some to take home because the pancakes were huge, folks. Really cool place. Yeah, let's go back to the the car and we'll talk a little more about our experience, what we what we felt and we gotta get back in the car and turn the air on because it's, it's start, hot. It's starting to get steamy it's out like there. It's like a high, high of 87 gonna be today. Well, it's supposed to be almost 90. Yeah. Yes. So anyways, uh, yeah, the corner diner, the newest diner. I it, do like it. I like the atmosphere. I, I, I like, it has like a drive-in movie theater feel to it. I like the 50s tables, you know, like the California style look, Route 66. I really like it. You know, the thing about it is, is, um, I like the cleanliness. I like the fact that it's it's kind of opened a little bit. You don't feel like, you know, they don't have the tables all cr crammed in there and stuff like that. Um, and of course it's new, so it's, the cleanliness is there, but if they keep up the cleanliness of it, you know, and I, the place is set up, everything's kind of a washable surface. I, I know, we're getting too much into it, but the thing is, is that that's important. It is important. It's something we it's don't important. really, we don't touch base a lot on our, on our restaurant reviews is, you know, what do we feel about so anyways, we walked down in. They were warm right off the spot. Um, we could sit ourselves anywhere we wanted. That's cool. Uh, that, and that, that actually works for us because yeah. we, you know, we were vlogging. We kind of want to find a corner or somewhere where we're not going to bother anybody. Or um, So yeah, and that was great. And they, they took our orders. They were really on top of everything. Um, 
and everybody in everybody working the restaurant kind of stopped by a table at least yeah. once to see how everything was. Um, so, anyways, uh, the prices in there were I think were were reasonable, competitive for the you know this area. Anyways, um, anyways, you ordered breakfast. I ordered breakfast. What did you think? It about was that? pretty good. The banana pudding was good, and it came with hash browns or home fries. I got the home fries, and they were so good. They were good. And I ordered a side of eggs for two ninety nine extra. You, you, I wanted the eggs too, so. You know, you can't do much with like home fries or French fries, you know, but they, they, they put, were good. But they were like cooked right and yeah. they, they had a seasoning, something it was really good. Um yeah, and your pancake. Oh the banana pudding pancakes was the bomb. <laughs> now it kinda makes me wonder what the other pancakes were like. There. I bet like, you they're other good. you know what I mean? I'm Unfortunately I just I couldn't eat them all. It was a lot of food. Yeah. yeah, and I ordered the smash burger, ordered a little lunch so we can get the breakfast and lunch. Uh, and they said that's you know, they're known for their smash burgers, you know, and, and they were good. It was really good um, It had a Thousand Island um, You know dressing on there, which really then set off that uh, Like I, I know I don't want to use this as a reference, but like the big boy, you know, the, the original yeah. big boy They had the you know, um, but it was it was really good really really good um, Definitely have that 50s diner, there, you know feel in there, which is really cool. I like it. It kind of reminds me of Route 66, right? Uh, also, they do fresh squeezed lemonade. You can actually see the machine, and they put the. It was um, neat to see that machine. The orange. I said lemonade, yeah. or I said orange. I think it's a orange. It had an orange in it. I thought it was going to run it. It was I, an orange. You said lemonade. I said lemonade. It's yeah. Orange juice. <laughs> you could probably put the lemon and orange together, and make a le le orangey lemonade or something. Sometimes my brain goes like in two different directions, and it goes in the wrong direction. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, they, they have freshly squeezed in there, which is cool. I, I know some folks enjoy that. Um, yeah, I like the, the flair in there. They have a little bit of Bigfoot, but then a little bit. And you said that it reminds you of like a drive-in. Kind of had like a drive-in movie theater feel. Yeah. You had the, like the 50s diner with a couple sitting there with the old speaker box and watching them. Oh, it's King Kong. I saw Godzilla too. It, well, it had Godzilla on it. So maybe it was Tokyo, Japan. He was on the building. Well, but I would say it was King Kong supposed to be taking an Empire State well, Building. Well, King Kong and Godzilla oh. were like big back in, <laughs> in, in the 50s and 60s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I love it. Love the artwork. Um, yeah, it's really great. I guess the big question is, would you do the diner? Yes, again? definitely. Now, I would say definitely yes because it's, it's a quiet place. But I have a feeling it's going to explode yes. eventually. And there's going to be lines outside to get in because we are in a tourist area. And then, of course, as locals, it's you know you're like hungry and it's like oh, I'm going to stand in the line. But I will definitely be back. I want to try. I'm actually interested in their other pancakes. Yeah, the um berry you know? pancakes and the other one. Yeah, I can't remember what the other one was, but it was on the menu. So, but folks, that's going to do it for today here at Pigeon Forge, here in the Food City Plaza off of Teaster Lane, here at the Corner Diner. You're in town, you're looking for maybe some lunch, maybe a quick breakfast, I would definitely check them out. We love you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. And bye everyone, <laughs> but who can't resist the spaceship lamp when you walk in, yeah. and it does multicolors. And, and the owner, she I'm pretty, or she yeah. was somebody, I think she was the it's owner. It's a neat little flare. She was showing it off, I guess she's yeah. got, she could change the colors and all that. With the remote control, that yeah. was cute, very yeah. cute. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was great, it was great. Folks, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Also, we're, we're, we're bonus bonus talk. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, no, bonus talk. <laughs> I thought the video was over. Some people have already clicked off. Yeah. They've already, as soon as they see us going on thing, they click off. You know, because I see our analytics and they click off before I start talking, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, we have a really cool uh, road trip coming up that we're going to be doing. And um, I think we have some really cool travel. I'm excited, you know, for... Um, you know, this year we've done a lot already. It's, I'm, I'm at, we're, it's a blast. It's been a blast. Okay, for real. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs>